Okay, in the next lesson, we're going to look at some worded problems and how we can use algebra um, to set up an expression to help us find, um, solve these problems. So if we have, um, it says in this question here, write an algebra expression for each of the following, choosing an appropriate pronumeral if necessary. So often you can just use your own, whichever letter you want. So they want me to write an expression for this first one for the number that is six more than Ben's age. Well, we don't know what's Ben's age. So I might use the letter B to equal Ben's age. So then if I'm trying to write an expression for the number that is six more than Ben's age, it would be B plus six, okay? Um, the total value, the second one, of some $10 notes. So we don't know how many, so let I'm gonna say let X equal the number of $10 notes that we have. And therefore an expression I could write the value, wouldn't you times every number, the, the number you had by X. So say, for example, if you had two, it'd be 10 times two, which is $20. Okay, so the total cost of eight adults and three children train tickets. So I might say let A equal um, uh, adult cost of ticket or whatever. And then I might say C equals child costs. So if we were trying to write an expression, well, we have eight A, whatever the adults cost, plus three of the children's, whatever the children's cost. So there's, that's the expression. Okay, now the product, that's another word for times. So the product of A and W, so we could say A times W, or with algebra, we don't often need the time symbol there. We understand that if we have a W, that means we're times in, in between. Okay, when we see this last one, W less than A. So that means we had A and we take W, we have W less. So you'll be really careful with them, the takeaway ones, because they can be, if you misinterpret, you'll get the wrong answer. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple more. So Jacqueline studies five more subjects than Helena. How many subjects does Jacqueline study if Helena studies six? So in this first thing, we could get um, a formula. So if Jacqueline equals Helena's plus five more. So here we can go. So if Helena studies six subjects, we can substitute and say, well, Helena is six plus five. So therefore, Jacqueline equals 11 subjects. If Helena studies X subjects, so we change Jacqueline would equal X plus five. Helena studies Y, so Jacqueline equals Y plus five. Okay, so in the section, second one, sorry, Diana, oh, sorry, Diane and Angela walk home from school together. Diane's home is two kilometers further from Angela's home. How far does Diane walk if Angela's home is? So Diane equals Angela's plus two. So here, how far does Diane walk if Angela's home is 1.5? Well, Diane would walk 1.5 plus two, which is 3.5. If Angela's was X, so it would just be X plus two. Okay. Lisa watched television for two and a half hours today. How many hours will she watch tomorrow if she watches 1.5 hours more than she watched today? So it'd be two, she watched 2.5. Um, if she um, add 1.5, so she's going to watch four hours. If she watches T hours more than she watched today, so that would just be 2.5 plus T. If she watched Y hours fewer than she watched today, so it'd be 2.5 minus Y. Okay.